Ray tracing, everybody wants things ray traced. My face is being ray traced by the sun right now. That's why things look so glorious. We had a few issues last week with white balance and clouds, but we're trying something new today anyways. Ray tracing is the hottest buzzword on the market right now. AMD is supposed to have ray tracing hardware baked into Navi. It's supposed to be coming to the next generation of consoles, explicitly the PlayStation 5. There's a cloud coming in now. Intel saying that they're bringing ray tracing to server stuff so that they can make it better for Pixar, who's gonna wanna fork over that cash. <laughs> Well, in case you don't remember, my friends, right now, ray tracing is just kind of, it's just, it's out there. It's just RTX stuff. You know, it's just, it's being done with global illumination. Anyways, it's only been done in certain engines. Well, now, CryEngine is supposed to have it. There was this demo that they said was run by the Vega 56. Well, now they've given us actual information about that demo so that we can learn a little bit more about what AMD ray tracing actually looks like. So it's called the Crytek's Neon Noir. Noir. No, noir. No, no, er, no ear. Noir. And it was pretty spectacular because it's running on AMD, but as we've talked about several times on Hot News, ray tracing doesn't require dedicated hardware to run, it requires dedicated hardware to run well. Anything can ray trace. PlayStation 3 had a ray tracing demo. There's a freaking like mobile GPU can, that can run ray tracing. Some people have said that they've seen ray tracing since the 1980s. It's not a new technology. It's not something Nvidia invented, but it does require special hardware to run it fast because modern computing just can't keep up with the demands of ray tracing, excuse me, sorry. So Crytek finally came out and talked about how they did it, saying one of the key factors which helped us to run efficiently on non-RTX hardware is the ability to flexibly and dynamically switch from expensive mesh tracing to low-cost voxel tracing without any loss in quality. Furthermore, whenever possible, we will still use all the established techniques like environment probes and SSAO. These two factors help to minimize how much true mesh ray tracing we need and means we can achieve good performance on mainstream GPUs. Another factor that helps us is that we use our SVOGI system that has benefited from five years of development. So this is pretty interesting, especially since the Vega 56 got 30 FPS at 1080p, and they said that they could decrease the resolution of what's happening happening in the ray tracing specifically so that they could get 40 FPS at 1440p on Vega cards. So as you can see, even though it does run, it's not running at 60 FPS. It's not really PC master race level stuff, but it is interesting that they are finding just like what DICE had to do with Battlefield, you have to decrease the resolution of ray tracing to get it to actually perform well. Uh, Cause that, I mean, that's basically ray tracing perform like garbage on Battlefield 5. And then they were like, uh, you don't need it on all the leaves, do you? So they turned it off and then they were like, hey, look, you got 15% better performance. Well, it appears that's what they're doing for Vega. You're not actually getting fully ray traced. It's not 100% ray traced. You're not using every single ray tracing tactic that could be out there. It's not 100%, but if you, decrease it enough to make it so that the quality difference actually isn't visible to most people, then you can actually get pretty decent performance on Vega cards, presumably as well as on GTX cards. Navi, even if it doesn't have hardware-based ray tracing, even though that's what the rumors are indicating right now, it should also do pretty well at this, but hardware-based ray tracing for specialized chips is the way to go to actually implement all of the features like in reflections, in global illumination, in shadows, like to actually run all of those at the same time requires a tremendous amount of computational horsepower. And that's what RTX cards bring us. That's why you should bow down to them. We appreciate them. We thank them for their service. Anyways, that's the end of this hot news video. Vega, Ray Tracing, Brett, love you too, bye.